Good evening everyone and welcome to the stream. Uh, tonight I've got a six word search pre-planned out. I'm happy to take deviations and go off on tangents if uh, people want to join the chat and um, uh, talk about something else or see about having me pronounce something else. So that gives us about 300 words. I'm thinking of doing this as a, and going through as a quicker way than going through and doing some of the other videos that I've done that show pictures and similar. Because if I go through a beginner vocabulary, I can get it done in about two weeks, rather than if I do the pictures, it'll take a lot more. So I'll get into it, and I'm happy to take um, help from the crowd. If you join in and you see a word, let me know. I'm happy to take that. I have changed this compared to, I think, some of the last time. Um, I've changed the latency setting. The YouTube is taking a bit of extra time and processing from what I send it to then what it sends out. So you might type a comment and I might see that um, 20 seconds after you type it. Well, that, yeah, it might. There's going be, be a bit of a lag because I've tried to get it to turn on closed captions. I'm not sure whether that's working. So if there's anyone that can tune in and let me know if that happens in real time. Um, it's somewhere on YouTube. It did say I needed a thousand subscribers for that to happen and that they were only rolling it out to my channel. It doesn't include auto translate, unfortunately, but I think it's worth it if I start talking about some things like um, chairwoman and then you have a sentence describing it where it might help if people can't quite um, make out exactly what I'm saying. So I'll get into it. Well, the first one is chairwoman. It's uh, the gender specific version of chairperson and um, different compared to chairman. And relativity should be below it. Downstairs. Uh, breaking. No, that may not be it. So thorning. Breaking point. So something might reach its breaking point when you put in too much um, stress on it or give too much weight. An idiom would be the straw that broke the break the straw that breaks the camel's back. And if you get a camel, you keep adding straw to it. Eventually, it's going to go. I can't do that anymore. Even though you're just adding a small amount of weight each particular time. So. Uh, punitive. I think that comes up a bit with the legal aspects of punitive damages. Accessory. Impossibly. Irreproachable. Someone might act in a way so they could be beyond reproach. There's no way that they could be seen to be um, committing fraud or similar. Yeah, it's like... um. Someone might give me a twenty dollar note for change, so a ten and two fives. If you're acting irreproachably, you put the twenty off to the side, and then get out the ten and two fives, and then um, give that to the person where they offer to take it. If they, that way, you're not um, taking it away, putting it into the till, and then someone then claims that you've taken a fifty. So whittle. Uh, someone would would be whittling on a stick to pass some time and they might make something out of it or to sharpen the edge of it. Beam. A beam like a plank of wood. This tastefully. That'd be the opposite of tastefully. So uh, someone might dance and possibly... You know, twerking at a high fashion wedding might be seen as being distastefully, dancing distastefully. Dependent. Sorry, interdependent. That might be behavior where two people, more they both need each other to uh, carry on. We've got bronze medal for someone at a... Uh, uh, the Olympics, the third person getter, the third, third fastest, or person who threw the javelin the furthest. Flirtation. 
it might be uh, someone going up to someone else at a bar and then starting to talk to them and seeing if they could maybe ask them out sometime. But before doing that, they might be subtly giving signals. Hinge. So the hinge on a cupboard door lets it swing open and closed. There's a pulse, a holster. So that's if you've got a lounge and you're putting fabric on it. There's poke there, but that's not a word in the list. Bullion is um, precious metal like gold and silver. It might be something else, but it rings a bell that also to do with a soup version. It, um, but it's, uh, yeah, bits of gold and silver. So there's fleshy. It could be a way to describe something. Like um, human skin or um, any skin, I guess. Nominal and smidgen. You could say, yeah, how much was the, uh, how did all the groceries come to? And they might say it's a smidgen above. $80 split four ways, just call it 20. And that way the person then uh, doesn't worry about the few cents. An apparition, something that uh, isn't very common at all. It's a total anomaly. Unexpected, I guess. Stylish. Could be used to describe clothes. And rarely. Just gotta wait here for a second. Okay, carrying on. Uh, vision. No, it might be division. In Parliament, there might be a division required to formally record who's voting for and against which items uh, gimmicky it might be describing uh, one particular item as somewhat gimmicky it's not um, you could sort of say gimmicky is a you get a esky also known as a chili bin Sorry, just checking the screen. It's saying there was nothing being received by YouTube for me. Oh, well, sorry if there's a bit of a break in the transmission. Um, gimmicky. So it might be a fan that sprays a little bottle of water or something that you, you know, not quite expect to um, effectively do the job. Uh, nimble. Something agile. Able to move from place to place quickly. There's oat. Usually referred to as oats, something people would have for cereal. Spacey. You could describe someone as acting a bit spacey if they're not um, entirely conscious. Uh, depth. If you jump into a pool the first time, you might want to check how much water's in there to its depth. It might appear shallower than it actually is. Numerical. Dealing with numbers. One could say an army might have numerical superiority in that there's more of them, but the opponent might have a technological superiority 
which uh, might mean that if they did fight, that they would win. Outlandish. Humble. Uh, minor sign. There's looks to be a steam here, but I'm not. Oh yeah, it is in, it is in the list. Let's just check what we're missing here: variants, beehive, espionage, dire, Japanese, and laceration. Oh, well, there we go. We've got Japanese, espionage and beehive dire there might be a dire situation where things aren't looking too good and we've got speak over here as well ah uh, there's keeper over here yep i wasn't too sure whether that was a word in the list Pen, Fox, Aid, and Nauseate, and Laceration. So, Nauseate, someone might be feeling sick, might have had um, some food, got a bit of food poisoning, or someone might be driving a bit too fast. Violation, might be against the rules, or against a treaty. Fox, uh, animal. Uh, typically, see it hunt chickens and variants. Uh, that could be explained like statistical anomalies. Uh, one of the things that well, I guess has recently come up, I've seen it recently in his poker, where you might have a run of bad luck, and that would be called variance. But on the long run, if you're a good player, you're hoping to win. So, missing aid, handbag, and pen. There's pen that just jumped out at me. And aid. Uh, handbag, no, I can't quite find it. No, there we go. Just missing. All right, I'll move on to number two. Okay, so we've got tongue tied where someone might not be able to think of what they wanted to say and you could have some self-inflicted where you've done something to yourself um not yeah too sure really where to, to go with that to give an example but a co-pilot is someone that is uh, flying the plane you might usually have a senior person flying and that would be the you could say the pilot then the co-pilot, but in practice at the moment, from what I understand in Australia, the will the, the pilot will be the pilot in command of one of the flights, and then the second flight, the co-pilot takes over. So they sort of change duties every single time they take off and land. So then simple-minded. Uh, gonorrhea. That's a sexually transmitted disease. Surge, no surgery. And a bumper sticker would go on the back of a car. 
I'm not too sure about the rest of the world, but something that was fairly common was uh, stick figures showing people's family. And the shut in. Uh, bottleneck. I guess a famous version of the bottleneck is the 300 Spartans. And going back earlier, where there was numerical superiority in that uh, battle, the Persians had a lot more people than the Spartans. And the Spartans, because they could only bring so many people to the Persians to fight because of the um, bottleneck only allowing like a few hundred meters wide, they could um, slow them right down. I think pushed. Someone might feel bushed, they're very tired. Magnifying. No, magnifying glass. Be used to make a smaller writing big. Negligent. So someone should have taken reasonable care. But they haven't. They haven't been. They've been negligent in their duty. So it might be someone who uh, the road rules say that they've got to stop the car, but they might get used to driving there and drive uh, through it. And you know, because there's never any traffic, so they get used to driving through slowly when they should stop. And if they caused a collision, then they could be negligent. Uh, horse to vor which is um, finger food. I'm not too sure of the language. I think it might be French. But uh, if you're at a fancy function, you might have someone walk out with their, like little bits of bread. They're about the size of, if you take your thumb and your finger and around it, and then might be some small things like salmon or some paste on there. Uh, dossier. Dossier is usually a file on somebody. And... Membership. So someone might pay a yearly membership to um, use a particular clubhouse or play golf. Wilderness. Out in the wild, so you might get eaten by a bear. Uh, certainly away from the suburbs and the city. I think uh, spirited. Stepchildren, um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's where the parents divorce and a new they get married, and then the children of the other people are stepchildren. So abrasive, no, it might be abrasively. So someone might talk abrasively, trying to. Be short rather than the opposite of polite. Close. If something's very near you. Might also be a close call. And then ostracize. Disillusioned. Hot air. That could be used to describe someone's speech. They, they might sound all big and nice, but there might not be anything really backing it up behind it. Gleam or gleaming. If you end up buying a new car, you'd hope that it would be gleaming. Uh, pitchfork. So it's used by farmers to uh, usually move hay around to feed the animals. Creatively. Uh, perishable, perishables, 
So if you went shopping and bought some uh, fruit and vegetables, they'd be perishables, whereas a, a tin of uh, spaghetti sauce wouldn't, or a jar wouldn't, that would last quite a long period of time. You could keep it for a few weeks into the cupboard and it wouldn't be considered perishable. It's also central. That's where I saw it a bit earlier. It looks like I've lost it. Need. Uh, it's way to describe bread. Uh, you take the dough of bread and knead it before it's put into the pan to bake. There we go, six. That's what I thought I saw earlier. Well, it might be a duplication then. Okay, that's the one. Dolphin, the uh, animal that swims in the ocean. It's a bit like, it looks a bit like a shark from a distance, but it's a lot more friendly and won't eat you. They breathe air, so they've got to come up to the surface every now and then. Antibiotic, that's something when you get very sick, the doctors can prescribe you to take and help you get better quickly. Uh, yeah, okay, empire, I thought it was part of a larger word. It turns out it's just empire by itself. Uh, what have we got here? Sponge cake. So it's a fairly simple uh, cake. Usually might get a bit of cream in it between some layers or you might have some icing on it. A hornet, a small animal, like a bit like a larger bee. A flute. The instrument that people blow into. Sentry, someone whose job it is to look out and see if someone's approaching, like the enemy, and warn if they are. We've got desperately. Um, they're very, yeah, might be desperately trying, a, a parent might be desperately trying to get to their wife's uh, hospital to see the birth of their first child. A, a dammit, someone who's um, dug in. There might be someone who mistakenly brought in a special that it was like two for 35 and not notice that it's now expired, but they want to speak to the manager and um, get the special because they still believe that they were entitled to it. Still got sketchy, alarmed, classic, Stun, Gap, Supreme, Gland, Loving, and Enigmatic, Schmooze, and Demean. So, but nothing's really jumping out at me at the moment. Uh, Demean. 
that um yeah you're not talking well about someone uh, you might be talking down on compared to um like i last time i remember someone was talking about the staff they said um you know i ended up dropping it and it broke and the manager was like yeah of course you did you know it's almost like you can't do anything right and classic so a classic car is an old and vintage uh sketchy yep so it might be you could say it's a sketchy part of town you wouldn't really want to stay there after the dark Schmooze, um, you might be in the business of like selling and uh, look to schmooze some clients uh, by taking them to the, the football or the cricket so you'd pay for them to sit with you in the box seat and you might be able to get some more business out of them. Uh, Supreme, it's uh, very good. But you could also have a Supreme pizza that's got a variety of toppings on it. Uh, gland, it's a part of the body. I'll just have a little bit more of a look around and then I'll show the ones that I'm missing. Enigmatic, so a bit of a mystery. Um, I think it's heritage is from Enigma. You could use it to describe people. There's alarmed. Someone might be alarmed to um, find there's some extra cars in a car park when they finish work and there's it's usually just dead quiet and there's the only car park there. Stun, gap, loving, and that's it. And there's loving, and on that, I'm going to show the answers and the other two of stun and gap, and then move on to the next one. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time looking to find something. So. The words here, they will either be horizontally or vertically. And uh, if you're in the chat and you see any of the words, I'm more than happy to take help from them on the chat. There's eccentric, no, eccentricity. So someone might be different. Even though maybe a hundred years ago you've got people that would normally wear top hats, someone wearing a top hat now might be considered eccentric. Tacit, so there might be tacit approval. And Jane Doe is um, a name used if uh, people turn up to hospital or somewhere else at the police station and they can't establish who they are. They might not remember who they are. Uncannily. And half-hearted, someone might give a half-hearted attempt to complete a test, half-heartedly, sorry. There's a dash here. Okay, so pitch black. And describing that, like on a moonlit night, you could still see some things, like if you're walking on a trail, but... If it's pitch black, you can't really see anything. So preschool, before going to elementary school, and then high school. There's motor. Okay, yep. And weapon. Uh, heirloom. Something you might get passed down family to family. Bustle might be, you could say, hustle and bustle in the city, and it's nice and quiet out in the country. Uh, pungent, it's usually to describe an odor, something pretty bad smelling. 
malignant is um uh bad is that evil i think it's a the bad sort of form of cancer hospital no hospitable inhospitable not not um a good spot to live like a desert or the arctic So we've got subject here. It could be to do with someone in a kingdom. They might be a subject of the king, but also in school, geology, uh, biology, uh, PE might be people's favorite subjects or music. So cupcake is a small cake just eaten by one person. Musician, it's a job where someone makes music. A gyroscope is a something that'll spin around and you can see other videos of it but if you've got like a there was a lecturer who got a bicycle wheel just by itself and they spun it around and set them on them and then they got someone to try and spin the professor around on the chair but that was hard to do as um it, it, the gyroscopic effect was keeping him stable Fundamentally, an exit poll. So, if there was an election and people would go in and vote, there might be people asking people as they leave who they voted for, and you wouldn't have to tell them. You could even lie. At, um, they could take a list of everyone who voted for which way and use that to try and figure out who's going to win the election before. The results are officially counted. Uh, loony might be describing someone who's crazy. A loony bin might be a, um, is a uh, what is a casual word for an insane asylum? So imitative. Uh, mute is to stop the noise coming out from something. Um, if we're on a video conference, I might mute my speaker before talking, but I, if I was the moderator as well, I should be able to mute other people from talking as well. So uproot, it's uh, taking a tree out of the ground and it's putting it to somewhere else well people might say they've been uprooted if they were going through high school and having to move across the city not across the city and you know going to a whole new other high school now an incision is a usually a planned cut into a body by a doctor to maybe remove something as compared to a laceration where they weren't, um, they were cut unexpectedly. And seeming, I'll just try it. Yeah, something seeming to be one thing, but it might be another, like a decoy. There's group here no that just might be random concise as um something pretty short yeah it's not to the point there's not someone getting up and talking and waffling on Blacken, you could say the fire that went through would blacken the trees. You'd walk through, see all of them, and even though they might still be living underneath. Uh, a euphemism, where you sort of say one thing but mean another. 
short story. A sailboard. And hemoglobin, that's something in the blood. Missing. You'd go search for something that was missing. Behind. A tray. Some food might be brought out on a tray. Um, one of the a good stand-up comedian, uh, Eddie Izzard, um, made a sketch about the Death Star Canteen, and I highly recommend it. Darth Vader is told he'll need a tray, but he's most certain that he won't. Uh, poison. So you might eat some mushrooms that uh, are poisonous, and or someone might take the part of the mushroom that's poison and put it into something to give someone else. But you could also poison some plants and weeds that were on a farm. Uh, compile might be. I compile a list of articles for a book, but at the moment I think it's more commonly used for compiling uh, source code into an executable program. The bearer is usually someone that carries something, might be considered to be the bearer of bad news as well. Admittedly. And it looks like that's bidding as well. Regroup. And Godfather. Still missing. There's deck. So you might have a deck of cards. The ladies or, well, men, maybe, who might I say, might put on makeup before going out for a big night. Unerring, correspond, head, annoy, met, valor. So just a few to go there was correspond. So I might um, write letters to someone and correspond with them as a pen pal. Unerring is, um, it never makes mistakes, it always finds the target. I think that's met. I had an issue earlier where it didn't, um, the right letters were there, but because it wasn't its one, it didn't let me do it. And then we've got head, the top part of the body. Annoy. There we go. Um, you might be traveling on a train in a quiet carriage and someone might be playing some music on a speaker. And Bella. So I think that... And that's everything. I'll move on to the next one. I'm not sure boy is in. Yeah, that's not part of this one. So, contemplate. 
plaintiff. Splash. A child might um, splash someone else in a pool, or it might jump in a puddle causing a splash. A uh, condiment like salt and pepper or sauce. Enchanted, so no, disenchanted. Sorry, it's the opposite of um, enchanted. Someone might uh, have joined a company believing everything, but they might not think that it's going to change the world as they originally thought it would be. Decline, that's the opposite of accept. Um, when you buy something, you might get a chance to have an extended warranty, but it'll cost extra and you've got to do it on the day. Uh, skyscraper is a very tall building. And upside down. So, parent might grab their children by the feet and um, help them swing them around for a little bit as part of playing. But they're upside down. It feels different. So, and a gold medal. So a faucet is a tap that water comes out of, and a journalist is someone that reports the news. I keep seeing this in the seeing descent, but it's two S's. Terse. That might be a very short written response or verbal. Suppose that's uh, usually in the context of government where a leader gets overthrown by another one. And bathing suit, so going for a swim in the ocean. Blame, project might fail and they might be looking for someone to blame. Uh, spurt, a uh, hose in the yard might be under pressure if it gets caught and there's a little hole in it, my water might spurt out the side of it, a uh, propeller, spin around on an aircraft or a ship, hydroelectric is the generation of electricity by water flowing past a river, so plaster, Tangle, no, no, disentangle, so a net might get tangled but you've got to sort it out before you can use it again so spend a bit of time um, getting it right again. And gradual, so there might be a gradual incline compared to a steep one. A pencil case. Keep things like a ruler's razor all in one unit into the, then go into the backpack. Iceberg. Uh, 
a car wash. You might have ones that are automatic and ones that are um, fully automatic, ones where the person has to like spray the car. Cornea, that's a part of the eye. Staffing, to do with how many people work there. Uh, forfeit. So if your team that you're playing with the sport doesn't have enough players, they might forfeit and uh, lose the match without playing a game. Fractionally, or fractional, fractionally. Uh, misplace, where you put something down, forgot where you put it down, and then you need it again. You might say you misplaced it, lose the keys. Arthritis is um, when you get old, it uh, affects your bones. Impersonation, where someone might um, try and be somebody else uh, whether it's deliberate or not uh, like it's a, a crime to impersonate police so that said if you like dressed up where it was obvious that you were not an official police officer then um, yeah that wouldn't be seen as a crime but if uh, someone else dressed up as a policeman and then pulled somebody else over that would be um, definitely a crime. So disapproval. Someone saying they don't like whatever idea or whatever's being presented. A yard sale. Someone might have a clean out and bring a whole bunch of goods out when the public can wander in and it's usually a way of getting things very cheap. An earlobe is the bottom part of the ear that's usually pierced for earrings to go into. Uh, a wimp is someone that might not stand up for themselves or they might run away when faced with any sort of danger. A key you needed to get into the front door of a house. Wardrobe is where people put clothes. An outpatient is to do with a hospital. It might be someone that uh, comes in for surgery and then gets the surgery and then goes back home. They they don't stay at the surgery. Like if it's um, you can need to be looked at overnight. Jigger, I think it's something that rocks something backwards and forwards. So you might um, put some paint, can of paint that you've just mixed up and added a bit of tinting to to make it a slightly different colour into something to shake it backwards and forwards. Uh, phosphate. No. Yeah, phosphate. Uh, I think that's for a type of I think it's like a type of fertilizer. So Jaguar, 
That's a type of animal and car. So still missing newly, allow, spherical, boo, tiresome, squawk, expo, heck, outrun, and viewer. There's heck, uh, viewer, There's spherical. Squawk. That's commonly used with the uh, aviation that I know of, uh, the bird squawk, but also with um, transponders that's used to track them as the aircraft as they fly through the air. Newly. Um, you could go to the Mint and make your own newly generated currency. Can't quite find allow. Boo, tiresome. Think I'll. Oh, there's tiresome. And allow. I'm not too worried about Boo, but I'll see if, uh, and Expo, and I'll see if I can find Outrun. If I can't, I'll um, hit the Solve button and move on to the next one. Yes, let's show the answers. So Outrun, Expo, and... Boo. Okay. Moving on to number four. Sorry, number five. Five of the six. So, a hundred more words to go. If you see anything in the, um, welcome to join in. So, start off with diversification. It might be used in investing in portfolio where if you put all of your eggs in one basket, they might, um, might drop the basket. And disturbance. Arthritic. Okay, yep. Straddle. Uh, divorce, territorial, so the pinky might be pinky finger, the smallest one. Courts martial, though I always understood it to be court martial. Uh, there's something else here with the dash, so no frills. And that might be a bare bones version, nothing extra will just give you straight value. ATV, so you might buy the no frills version of flour because, well, what else? You know, it's just flour rather than one of the branded versions. So, monosyllable, I think that's just going to be one syllable. Uh, Civil War, so it looks where there's a 
country within itself. So the American Civil War is probably the most famous. Trash can. You'd want to find one of them in the kitchen. Hypothermia. So that's when you get very, very cold. The way I remember it is the O is smaller than the opposite of hyperthermia. There's swoop. And camera. Quartz. Which is a unit of measure for liquid, I believe. A dictator. That's a country where someone, um, one person is the boss and whatever they say goes. Squelch. Culpability, used in law and criminal practice. Uh, trunks, might be tree trunks, but you could also say swimming trunks. And there's track and field. Grave, no? Infusion. So missing larynx, alfalfa, chop, rayon, uh, primly, primly, enter, spent, underwent, and still quite a few. We've got toaster over there. Uh, any more? There's spent. Location. Mesmerize. Alfalfa. There's enter. Finance. Jealous. Uh, comeback. A team might have a great comeback if they were half time. They might be. Yeah, so the team might have a lead, like forty to three, and they might have a great comeback to score more points at the end. Final buzzer. Nasally. So in the nose. Uh, it's a drug might be delivered nasally. Underwent. Al albino, albino. And stroller. The 
vehicle that you'd put a child into and push them around. Or might be someone that walks very slow. Product. Production, sorry. Primly. A spasm might be an involuntary moment movement. So I think uh, like the doctor hitting your knee. running out of rayon, a uh, type of material. Jewelry, so like a necklace and earrings. A uh, raven, type of bird. Still missing gum, ask, ah, larynx, and chop. Okay. There's larynx. So it's a part of the um, neck, I believe. You breathe through. So I'll show the rest of them. Got funky, ask, chop, gum, and ah. Uh. So, last one of the night. There's cursed, an item that might be believed to bring bad luck. Multiple choice. It's in a multiple choice question and answer. A uh, minister or Ministerial, so it might be considered like a ministerial responsibility as part of the government. I think that's blonde, color of hair, taunt, and pasta. Huh? Neutralize, so if you taunt somebody, you're trying to get them just to react. Uh, hooligan, conservative, breakthrough, manifold, part of an engine, a uh, hatchback would be a type of car, and piglet, animal, though I wouldn't say parasitic, you could have other parasitic animals that, um, like a leech, I think. Alleviate. Enormously. And realistically. Heartily. Someone's going to an action. They're um, keen to get to it. Think mantle. Springboard. You could say a, a job might be a springboard to bigger and better jobs in the company. And market research done by companies to before launching new products. Uh, stepmother. Temporary. Any 
ecologist is someone that uh, studies animals and the places they live in. So one of the things was, I think they introduced foxes or some other animal into a national park and they studied that there was a whole, like a whole change of uh, what's going on, even to the point where like rivers ended up changing course because animals wouldn't, because of the foxes, the animals wouldn't um, congregate anymore and that meant that some of the other, and there's a whole bunch of flow on effects. Uh, margin of error. With polling, you might say we think that one party might form government. They've got 56 and 44, but because we only sampled 2,000 out of um, a large number of people, we're not sure. We could have got it wrong. Uh, we might have, by statistic chance, chosen people that were um, favoring one other party. So we might have a margin of error of a few percentage points. I think coldness. Uh, screenplay could be what all the, all the actors and lines have got to say. Composition, set of music. Sorry, decomposition uh, would be something falling apart, like a what happens if a. Yeah, uh, I won't go into it. Yeah, um, tactic or tactics. Port is where ship stock. And our salad dressing. So put it on to add a little bit more flavor to it. Domino, uh, paradox. So, one of those is that if I've got a time machine, can I go back and kill my own grandfather? Well, I personally wouldn't. Um, but if I did kill my own grandfather, then how could he then end up having a child to create me? So, I couldn't go back to be here to go back in time in the first place. So, was it? Busily? People might be busily going about in the office, but might not actually be doing anything. So, missing leggings, bylaw, terrific, blemish. Laid port. I'm sure, I had port earlier. Oh, leggings. Yep, there we go. We've got port now. And blemish. Whip, teapot, past tense. Eat, slob, perceive. Tuba, privy, and deer. A tuba, so it's a large, like saxophone style instrument. There's a bylaw, uh, might be a council that have, have the ability to make rules up. Um, so, might mean that uh, no alcohol could be in certain areas. privy. I might um, know that some other people know some information, but I'm not privy to what caused them to make their decisions. Uh, laid. It might be a cat came and laid down on me as I was on the lounge and I couldn't get up. Uh, 
there's greasy. Might be a greasy hamburger. It's not the best for you, but you know, it might feel real good to eat. And teapot. It's terrific, so it's better than good news. And Newt. So I still need whip, past tense, eight, slob, and perceive. There's eight. There we go, it wasn't past or it was past tense where the A is in between. Slob and perceive. So, and dear, I'll go back to perceive because one of the recent stories was that there was a company training a robot to look out for people and they got some United States Marines to help them out with the training as to what a person looks like. And then eventually they gave the Marines the problem of um, how can you get close to, the, you know, using any means possible, get close to the robot without it figuring out who you are or detecting you. So one of the things they did was um, they did cartwheels all the way towards them because they were flipping backwards and forwards. They weren't considered to be the normal person and it didn't detect them. It knew something was moving, but it said, no, nah, it's not a human. And another one that they did was that the Marines got under a cardboard box. And that way you know, it picked up that there was a cardboard box moving towards them, but not a, not a person. So there's whip as well. And I think I've now found everything. So if you've got any questions, comments, feedbacks, please leave a comment. Let me know. I'm um, trying to do this as a way to cover more words faster than using the other ways on the uh, channel. I still think there's going to be a way to use the other ones. I'm happy to be interactive if people want to play along and, and look around as well. Um, and I'm considering doing this of like covering a basic vocabulary of around about uh, 4,000, 5,000 words as a way to do it as a almost a nightly thing and that way I could um, make myself available if people wanted to drop in if they're asking might have other words that they might want to pronounce and be happy to do that. So if that's interesting, interest you, let me know and thank you for watching.